Thank you. No problem. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. I'm sure many of you are students, and you may not find homeschooling very interesting. So instead, I'm going to tell you a few key points on how I helped my children achieve their dreams at such a young age. Let me introduce myself. My name is Kyung Yano. Actually, he pronounced really perfectly. Uh, I published seven books in Korean, and a few were uh, translated in Japan, China, and Taiwan. I was a student like you, and came to the U.S. to study and received a BFA and MA from Ohio University, and since have raised my two children. There are three cultures in my family, Korean from me, and Japanese from my husband, and American from where my children were born and raised. This diversity was a benefit for our children, especially with the number of different cultures in America. I homeschooled my two children, who went to college very early. My son, Sho Yano, entered college at nine and started his MD, PhD program at the University of Chicago Medical School at 12. And he didn't fail. And he, he, he received, <laughs> thanks. That's the reason I am here, okay. <laughs> And he received his PhD in molecular genetics and cell biology at 18, and his MD at 21. He's now a first-year resident at the University of Chicago Hospitals and an accomplished pianist whose performance was broadcast on a classical radio station. And my daughter, Sayuri Yana, who will perform after my talk, entered college at 10, and she received her Bachelor's of Science in uh, Biology at 13. And currently, she is her second year of a Bachelor's of Music program at the Johns Hopkins University, majoring in violin performance. Actually, homeschooling wasn't my first choice. My children ended up learning too fast and the teachers ran out material to teach. <laughs> and uh, they forced me to take charge of their education. So before I started homeschooling my children, I thought about what really education really is. These are the characters we use in Korea and Japan. First a character means to teach knowledge and skills. And second character contains to nurture, to have a good character and a healthy body. So the overall meaning of education is to teach knowledge and skills and nurture them to reach their full potentials, both in mind and body, so they can have a better life and take an important role in society. We kept this as an important philosophy when we're raising our children. You may be wondering why Half Step Ahead is the title of this presentation. This is our educational model. We try to stay just a half step ahead and try to guide, uh, teach and guide them without pushing them too much. So they can follow without running out of breath and learning becomes a fun activity. Very often, my children were asked by the media about the purpose of studying. My son said he loves learning, and it is really fun. And my daughter said the same thing. After hearing what my children said, the media usually asked me if I had any magic to make them feel that way. My first magic method was to let them find their own purpose. Since they found their own dreams, they push themselves instead of being pushed by someone else, not by me. And even if 
they get lost on the way to achieving their dreams, they can come back since they know what it is they want. And we made sure they were teachable. Teachable means they understand that they can learn from anyone in any situation. So a teachable attitude will lead to a humble attitude toward the learning and people surrounding them. So they never stop learning even after achieving their dreams. Young or old, we make choices every day. We have the freedom to choose and decide what we want to do. My, this is the same for our children. They made their own decisions with our guidance. So when they met the obstacles, they knew they must overcome to achieve their dreams. As you all already guessed, Studying at college at such a young age wasn't very easy. We endured many unkind words, and people accusing me of being a pushy mother who was trying to manufacture geniuses. When my son entered the college at nine, people openly asked how a woman who couldn't speak English properly could teach a child at home. And people expected my son to fail. And my daughter received worse treatment than my son. But I didn't care since I knew what my children needed most and they knew they must overcome. Oh, I missed my daughter's picture. <laughs> this was when she just entered the college. Once you set your purpose, overcome obstacles, and are ready to face another one, you needed to come up with a creative solution to achieve your dreams. I think open-mindedness and imagination are essential to come up with practical uh, creative solutions in life. To be open-minded, you needed to learn about and interact with the different races, cultures, ages, and genders. Also, imagine and dream things you never, you never thought you could do. Thinking logically may be hard. Thinking freely with lots of imagination and questions is fun. This will help you come up with uh, practical ideas and inventions to achieve your dreams. I am an artist and I enjoy music, so I introduced classical music and visual art to my children very early. I always tell my children to use the brain fully. I believe classical music and visual art util help utilize the brain. For example, when my daughter plays violin, she reads music uh, several measures ahead, and at the same time, listen to everything around her and how she fits into it. And visual art, art lets you think visually and interpret freely so you can come up with the new ideas and concepts without worrying about others' opinions. So this will help you be original and set you free while trying new things. This is my cute rabbit. Thanks for listening. <laughs> <laughs>